All right, on Quest, there are graphical limitations to achieving ultra realistic graphics on standalone, as the device is powered by a battery. Developers have to work around the limitations, and in my experience, art direction is even more important. But in VR, we always want that inch closer to that of Ready Player One levels of technology and wanting to achieve those hyper realistic graphics that almost make real life and the virtual one indistinguishable. The app that I want to talk about today is called Oniri. The app is available for everyone to try for free via app lab i will put a link to the app in the description so check that out and it's pretty breathtaking this isn't a game it's more of an app but i think everyone should at least try it out as it converts 3d scenes that are available online and reimagines them for 3d for virtual reality this application can bring photorealistic works or architecture construction concerts training etc into vr using v-ray max corona files and regardless of the number of polygons and the complexity of the scene it then will translate into a ready to use in 3D on Quest. I tried to get into the website and look at a more in-depth explanation of what they bring. They claim a 20 times faster pipeline to competitors from a high poly model to real time content. And it includes the usual marketing spiel. And a big part of this app is that it could be shared with anyone on the MetaQuest platform or on a browser. Booting up the app without the use of a dedicated graphics card or using the cloud. This is all rendered on the headset and it's really Really impressive. All of this is basically photogrammetry as when you get closer to the environments and away from the fixed positions, you start to see all the imperfections. Oniri takes the 3D scene and has high quality pictures for each and every object. If you step out of the metaverse and into the void, everything starts looking a little blurry and uncanny. You see games that use photogrammetry or laser scanning to build environments like one of the OG apps on Quest like Real VR Fishing or Brink Traveler and flat screen games like the Forza series that are racing games. This tech is dope, but it's not the future of standalone graphics, but it could very well be as companies like Epic Games have purchased reality capture that are paid options or meta if you remember during Meta Connect 2022 with the launch of Quest Pro, Mark, Sweet Baby Ray Zuckerberg and Michael Abrash were showcasing bringing objects in real life by scanning them with your phone and putting them around you in the virtual world, encompassing the benefits of mixed reality. Uh, not just because he's super cute, but also because he's got the right dimensions and level of detail for what we're trying to replicate. So here's how it works. We just scan him on the phone. And that's about it. Right now, this takes some processing time, so we got it ready beforehand so we could check it out. Oh, wow. The level of detail in this is impressive. You can kind of see all these fine elements of it, like each individual strand of its hair. And you can even see through the semi-transparent bow tie that he has on. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's just a beautiful reproduction. The second technology captures geometry and appearance directly. There's a push alongside with Meta's codec avatars to bring photo quality level of objects in the virtual space. But everything up till now is static. As in Oniri, it does try to hide that with sound and animations of butterflies flying in the virtual air. I'm surprised there hasn't been more of a push aside from Quest's home environment to bring really good looking static environments like this into the base headset. The app's environments look really, really good and almost indistinguishable from reality. And imagine this type of environment in a escape from tarkov like game i mean i w i think i wouldn't even ever take off my headset ever again the forest is extremely lush with vegetation and rocks in the game look really good though in the environment there is a hovering car and it looks really bad compared to the rest of the environment the blade runner type of car looks like a cheap hologram as they package this product to be released as a demo on app lab then the game shows you a bar any restaurant everything else other than the environment looks really out of place place. They could have done a better job placing assets around the environment or just could have done the 3D forest alone. It looks kind of tacky and it doesn't belong there on the forest path. Given the app is also available on Quest 2, I wanted to see how the app would fare on the platform. And oh boy, it's rough. This is an app lab game. So anything performance and bug related can be circled back to that. However, sometimes with the official store and app lab, with the quality of games being released recently, sometimes aren't that different from one another. On Quest 2, 
this thing chugs along hard. And on both headsets, it runs at 72 hertz at the same resolution with or without recording. Quest 2 tries very hard to get a stable frame rate and the focal point of the metrics has to be on the GPU utilization. I'm recording at 1440p inside the headset and even without recording, this app is extremely taxing. It runs at half of the total frame rate of Quest 2, making the experience very choppy and laggy. Quest 3 since launch has been a battery hog since day one and this app is no different on draining the battery as well as trying to bring photorealistic levels of graphics is possible with photogrammetry you could probably develop a game using these types of environments that utilize photogrammetry games like real vr fishing have built experiences like fishing in these environments and they're pretty good but they're pretty laid back and aren't extremely invested you know they're more chill apps it will be interesting with this app if we will be able to bring our own environments as it claims to do so. I did sign up as there is a wait list and hopefully I'll be able to tinker around with this later on. And this app is by far the highest and best quality level of graphics that I've seen in the Meta Quest platform. And I've played every game. I even tried Amaze VR that brings AK concerts to VR and other things as well. And though it still suffers from being nothing but eye candy, seeing what can be achievable using this technology today right now is pretty amazing if they bring multiple environments and offer a way so you and others can enjoy and relax in these environments it could be a pretty chill social app and lastly the app is said to deliver this experience in little to no loss quality on the web though the video player within the app delivers the worst and most compressed video i've ever seen on an app so we'll see how that fares later on and yet yeah, this app is pretty much straightforward and there isn't much to the surface of the app other than it's really photorealistic graphics being achievable on quest without any type of gpu or using the cloud if you boot up this app on quest 2 it still looks as good but it's very stuttery and it runs at half the frame rate oniri is mainly a quest 3 type of app as it's bottle capped massively by its gpu and yeah that's pretty much it if you like the video drop a like subscribe for more vr content and yeah see you to the next video